What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the new widgets, screen options, present and edit into WordPress version 5.8. So let me start explaining what are widgets. So if you are looking this in the, the top widgets with social icons and hours, this one into the bottom, call it the footer. These are all widgets. And if you go to the blog, we can see that these widgets at the top, the social icons and the hours and phone, and these into the footer are present into your site globally, independently of the page that you are. For example, when you are reading a blog post, you used to have a sidebar with a global content called widgets into the sidebar. So those are widgets and they have a massive importance for WordPress users. So when you already know what are widgets, we can move to the new WordPress 5.8 widgets screen. So this is the new screen. It can take a while to load because it now loads the preview of what you have into your site front end and not any longer a little card with the widget name. According to the theme that you are using, you may have more widgets options and some widgets for some plugin that isn't updated can show you some errors. You can click on it and remove the block. Simple, fast and easy. According to the theme that you are using, you can have more widgets locations. Like here, we have the first footer, second footer, third footer. But if you're using free WordPress themes and not the premium ones like fitness from Visual Modo, you may have a more limited places to add widgets. So you can't add widgets into the top of your homepage, for example. But the process to add widgets is pretty much the same. You can select the location. In my case, it's the first footer. Footer is present into the bottom of the website. Click into the plus button. Select what widget you can add. Now, with the new WordPress update, we have a massive options of widgets to play with. So click on it find it or search for some name, click, hold your, hold into the bottom and move this widget card to the section. For example, the paragraph widget, it's now added into the first footer, the first column of our footer. We did set the fitness theme by Visual Modo to have three columns into the footer. So the first one is now populated with the paragraph widget. So you can type text on it according to where you want. You can add links, you can bold, you can add some style. If you click into these three dots, you can clone the widget using the duplicate and move it to another section. That in this case, it's the second footer widget. So the second column, the middle column of our footer layout. Here is the blog sidebar, the default sidebar for most WordPress users, which is populated with other widgets. So I'm gonna be working into the third footer. For the third footer, I would like to add some image. So go to the image, drag and drop the element right here. You can upload a new image or select some already uploaded image from your media library. Let's choose some image. Let's pick this Mac image and the image is already added into our sidebar. Please do not forget to click into the blue update button and clear your cache up so you can see the results because there's cases that the results isn't saved or you can see the results because of cache. And now we have our image present into our footer. Once this image does not fit into the layout, we can click on it and remove the block. You probably is asking yourself about the old widgets, the old and good, like this one, the recent comments, the latest posts, the meta, the categories, and it's all still present and you can click into the plus button, click on the browse all and scroll this options screen or search for the widgets names, for example, the categories or the latest posts right here click hold and add into the section where you want 
now you can align the we can have more options into this old widgets from our WordPress the loaded widgets for example this the grid view of the latest posts for example we can align it we have extra options here and if you click into this little near icon you can move the widgets from another section for example the first footer or the sidebar all fast, simple and easy. We still can align the options. And have extra options to play with in each or every single of your widgets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited about it as I am because this opened the limitations of WordPress and lets you do, do more and more things in the future. You, you probably have a lot of plugins that will enjoy these sections to add templates, for example, and the visual model themes will already add in templates on it as well. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to new WordPress versions. And I see you later. All the best!